Thanks for listening to the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast, where each week we talk about a free piece or two of technology that you can use in your classroom. I'm your host, Shanna Martin. I'm a middle school teacher, technology coach, and personalized learning coordinator for my district. And I'm her producer slash husband, (laughs) Fuzz Martin. And it's spring break. What, what? Spring break. Mini episode. Mini episode. So it's a quick one this week. It's a mini episode because technically we really are on spring break this week. Last week we were like prepping for spring and organizing. And this week it's spring break. So I just want to share a couple of things. But it's spring break. Spring break. Not that I'm going anywhere. I'm literally going to stay here in the cold, damp Wisconsin weather. Same here. Here. (laughs) So, the mini episode is short and quick, and it's supposed to just a little self help this week. Self help, self care. Self care. Student self care. Something to get you motivated. Yeah. So, everyone's familiar with them. Everyone loves them. They are the TED Talks. TED Talks. So,. Everyone talks about TED Talks all the time. Like, oh, make it a TED Talk. Oh, make a TED Talk. How many TED Talks have you actually watched in your lifetime? Me? Yeah. A dozen and a half. You think? Yeah. I've watched a number of them. Have you? Actually, there's one, a really good one I watched about um, how to cut down on paper towel usage. Mm -hmm. So now after I wash my hands... I shake my hands in the sink 12 times before I use a piece of paper towel, all because of a TED Talk. A TED talk. My thought is, for this mini episode, we're not going to go into every cool TED Talk because it's all a matter of opinion and things that you're interested in. Yeah. But as a teacher, like our brains get totally fried. We get wrapped up in our students and all of these things that we have to get done all the time. So, you know, you have to get all of your things assessed. You have to make sure that you're conferencing with students. You have to make sure that your students are all meeting, you know, all their needs are met. You have to make sure that your goals are being met. You have to make sure that you're meeting your district requirements. And so there's all these things that are always like, you have to get all this stuff done. But during spring break or any time, you can take 20 minutes out of your day and you can find a TED Talk to learn something new, to like broaden your bubble that you live in a little bit And it's kind of just a quick, refreshing way to not be on your phone, unless you're watching a TED Talk on your phone, I guess, Um, (laughs) but a a way not to be, I guess, on like social media and stuff, but just like watch something, learn something and take take something away from it, I guess. That was a lot of some things in one thought. In one little something. Um, But pick a topic, find something that you're interested in. Learn a little bit more about it. Professional growth. I saw one of my one of my favorite TED Talks actually is done by a teenager. He's like 13 and he's a kid. And I show it to my students because he's motivational and talking about like working hard and just getting better, like self like improvement and things like that. So find a TED Talk that's an idea worth spreading. Okay. And, <laughs> you know, and... Take 20 minutes out of your day when it's super stressful and just pick a random topic and learn about something new and you might surprise yourself and it might be just kind of refreshing to your brain's still going to be spinning of the 18,000 things you have to do, but at least still concentrate on a different topic or something that might be totally some you've never learned about or talked about ever and try it out. There's so many cool TED Talks out there. So my little quick mini idea for you as a teacher watch a TED Talk or 12, but take some time out of your day for you and watch a TED Talk. I have a quick question about TED Ed. That's the next thought. That's my next discussion. Yes. Is when they were coming up with TED Ed. Oh, yes. This is your... Do you think that they were like, should we call it the TED Ed Talk or should we just call it the Ed Talk? Ha <laughs> ha. No. <laughs> Uh, I bet you they had that, that I'm conversation. I'm sure they had that conversation. I bet you they're listening to this podcast right now going, oh, man. I'm sure. We didn't think of that. Ever. Our team of 8 billion people. <laughs> Why don't people. we just call it an Ed Talk? We could have dropped a letter, made it that much faster mm-hmm. to type. Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> on that note, Ted Ed, if, if you don't know about Ted Ed as an educator, 
go type in ed.ted.com. All right. <laughs> ed.ted.com. It would and be better if it was ed.ted.edu. Yeah, well, but it's, it's not. not. Ed.ted.com. And you can register, sign in if you want to. And if you don't even go that far, you don't even have to sign up for it. Click the little search um, magnifying glass. And holy cow, you can type in any topic that you want to. Not only will you find a cool, like, student-related video. By the way, check the content first because while they are educational, you need to make sure, you're, like, your kids can handle grade-level discussion. Yep. And you can find a video to help you teach or inspire your students in any topic in the world. Some of my favorite videos, I'll have like some of the screenshots put up. There's one on tsunamis. It is one of the best explanations of tsunamis in like seven minutes or something like that. Six, seven minutes. That's short. Um, there's one that explains um, how, like why gas stations are always near each other. Like why um, businesses like all clump together. Mm -hmm. um, when I teach world war two in the cold war the explanations behind various dictators and world leaders and like the space race and and there's so many cool topics that even if you may not be teaching that topic but if you're doing like a flipped classroom and you want access for student videos or if you've got students that are really interested in a topic they will you can put them into ted ed and they can find all kinds of cool video content that explains interesting topics for yeah. students um another cool thing about ted ed is when you pick your topic you're able to show your video and along with your videos they have discussion questions that you can use as a class um, you can sign in and have the kids actually answer them because you can sign in as a student or you can sign in as an educator but once you pick your topic there's discussion questions so i usually don't give those um I don't give those individually to my students. I use them as class discussion points, but you could assign them if you want to. Uh, you're kind of able to do various different things with each of the lessons. And then they also have like watch where you watch the video and then they have like a think process with it. And then um, you also can dig deeper and then learn more and they give you more links to the same topic. So then you can delve more into learning more about the topic that's out there. So for students and teachers, just a little motivation to kind of push you through or you need a little quick, hey, I need some like something to spark the students discussion in class. Right. A TED Ed video is super great and super easy to use. All right. I've got one for you now <clears throat> that we didn't discuss before the show, but it's something that if you're looking for something fun and you're into and you have either you're into graphic design or you have students that are interested in graphic design, or you want to learn a little bit more about it, there is Adobe Live, mm -hmm. which is a show where they teach you, basically they teach you design stuff. It's free. Uh, you go to behance.net, B-E-H-A-N-C-E.net slash live. And they have things like daily creative challenges. Um, they have different designers come on and either digital designers and such teach you how to use Photoshop or uh, Adobe XD for web designing and uh, prototyping. And it is, uh, they've got all the replays on there. It's free. Now, obviously you'll have to have if you you know, you might have to have Adobe Photoshop to like implement some of these, mm -hmm. but if you are using one of the free mm -hmm. photo editing tools, some of the principles in here are the same, mm -hmm. but like Adobe Spark, do you think it would work with Adobe um, Spark maybe? Maybe not Spark so much, but if you had like a very one of the other Photoshop GIMP or some thing. of the other yeah. things, yeah. Uh, but like you know, uh, one of these episodes from and th these are all fresh too. But uh, graphic design with uh, Whitney Anderson, uh, three of three. Um, they've got you know the Photoshop daily creative challenges. They've got uh, designing in Adobe XD, cool. and then they'll even go through if you have students who are in a um, in a design class and, and mm. uh, digital design class, they can submit their, if, if it's you know, good and they're proud of it and they want to show it off, mm -hmm. they can submit it to these teams and they will review it live on the air. Like these are live. Cool. Yep. Yeah, and they'll say, here's what we would have done differently. Here's what we love, mm -hmm. you know, and they'll check out the full portfolios and stuff. It's really cool. So, Very cool. Well, that's fun. There you go. Look, a creative outlet. Yeah. Nice video. 
Boom. For our students. So that's today's mini episode because it is spring break. What? What? But check out a TED, a TED video for you, some TED Ed for your students. And Adobe Live. And Adobe Live. And enjoy your spring break. And if you haven't had spring break, I hope you have your soon. And if you've already had it, well, then I hope you enjoyed it before. <laughs> and if you're listening to this in the summer or maybe next winter, uh, cool. You can always pretend like it's spring break because there's nothing wrong with that, right? Yeah, exactly. Go throw on some sunglasses and pretend that it's not muddy and raining outside. Exactly. And on that note, thanks for tuning in. This has been the Tech Tools for Teachers podcast number 14. Yo. If you have any questions, you can find me at Twitter at SmartNWI. And if you want to get any more information on the links or the technology discussed in today's episode, you can visit us at SmartNWI.com. New tools each week. Thanks for listening. You can also check us out on Facebook. Go oh, yeah. educate and innovate. Forgot we're on Facebook now. What? I like moving into 2002. I'm just <laughs> I, I post different content on Facebook, so there's a, there's different links. There. Yeah, there's different links, and uh, gives you uh, an opportunity to interact that way if you don't use Twitter. There you go. Or use Twitter, or use them both. Use them all. I have people that use both. Yeah, you know, a little bit of everything. Uh, the ideas and opinions expressed in this podcast and the Smart NWI website and our social media channels are those of the author Shanna Martin and not of her employer. Prior to using any of the technologies discussed on this podcast, please consult with your employer regulations. This podcast offers no guarantees that these tools will work for you as described, but we hope they do. Have a wonderful spring break. Or just day. See ya.